Let's talk about best foods and food combinations for a great sleep. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist, get healthy now. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, what's today? Talk about best foods and food combinations for great sleep. I think this is really important. I think most people these days are having terrible sleep around the world. It's not just in the United States. It's everywhere. And it doesn't have to be that way for sure. And I sleep like a baby. Uh, first of all, before we get into that, if you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe. I appreciate that. Also, please watch the ads. I appreciate that. It brings a couple pennies towards my wife and I, and we appreciate that greatly. Also, please buy my new book, Live a Cancer-Free Life. It's on Amazon, and if you Google Live a Cancer-Free Life, it will come up. And, uh, you know, one of our family members just came down with, with cancer. Not good. Uh, it's better to prevent cancer than come down with cancer. Okay, let's get into what foods really help with sleep. And studies show, well, we keep a big thing of brown rice around, about rice, brown rice in general, help people sleep. There's no doubt about it. <clears throat> people who, uh, studies show that uh, you sleep uh, brown rice throughout the week, you actually sleep better. And it actually uh, is better than noodles and better than bread. It seems to work for some reason to make people sleep better. Also, the fruit kiwi. Uh, there was a study done with 24 adults consuming at least two kiwi an hour before going to bed, and they actually uh, fell asleep about 42% faster and stayed to sleep longer. So kiwi fruit are really good to help you sleep in general. Also, good old-fashioned nuts. You know something, the walnut. And all, walnuts and almonds are especially good. Uh, they actually a study done with mice showing that if they gave him walnut, excuse me, almond extract, they actually slept deeper and longer and without, you know, you know, feeling groggy or that type of thing in the morning. So, uh, you know, they had better cognitive performance in the morning also. Good old green leafy vegetables. This happens to be curly leaf kale. But, you know, these type of things are really good. I love kale in general. Really great stuff. Um, it also had, has calcium in it. And calcium processes the hormones to help you sleep better. Uh, tryptophan and melatonin. So, if you eat greens, in general, you get calcium. You're going to sleep better. It's absolutely positively. I know that for sure. Also, tart cherries. Tart cherries are good. You can eat that or take the juice and you will sleep better. Also helps with your pain. Absolutely positively. <laughs> also, good old-fashioned, wonderful bananas. This is a nice ripe banana. Uh, these are great. Everybody knows bananas and oatmeal really help you to sleep better. So that's a good combination of food there. Also, Good old-fashioned oatmeal. A big bag of oatmeal here. Uh, wonderful oatmeal. We eat it all the time. There's no doubt about that. So uh, high in potassium. It helps you sleep better. And it helps you to uh, produce more tryp uh, tryptophan and magnesium, which are natural uh, sedatives also. So that is a great thing. So bananas and oatmeal. Everybody's talked about that forever. So really good combination. Beans. Lots of good beans are really good for the body in general. I highly recommend beans, you know, especially garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans have a lot of B6, niacin, folate, and they help the brain to stay asleep for longer periods of time. So that's really important also. I think it's, uh, especially even it's one, of my, one of my favorite beans, in fact, are garbanzos. And making hummus, hummus, like oil-free hummus, you can use a little bit of tiny bit of tahini in there, lots of garlic, lots of lemon, a little bit of water. Uh, you've got a, a wonderful oil-free hummus for the most part, just a little tiny bit of tahini. And that is really great. Also, whole grains, whole grains. This happens to be sorghum. Uh, I highly recommend it. And any kind of whole grain. Whole grains in general encourage the production of insulin, 
which helps the neurons in our brain to actually produce more tryptophan. So it's really important to get a lot of whole grains. You know, if you're eating white rice or if you're eating any kind of processed type of food, not good. You're not going to sleep well. It's really important to allow yourself to get whole grains in there. Also, grapes. Grapes are really great. Uh, it actually uh, has a lot of melatonin in it, so a naturally occurring melatonin. So that's really one of the best things that you can eat also. Also, make sure you stop eating, you know, early. I recommend about six or seven. And I eat dinner about four o'clock and try not to eat anything afterwards. Also, you don't go into deep sleep till about two o'clock in the in the middle of the night, you know. So if you eat it at uh, six o'clock in the evening, it takes eight hours for your digestion to stop. And your body gives preference to digestion. So it's about two o'clock in the morning, your digestion stops. And then from two to six, you have that ability to go into deep sleep. And so I highly recommend eat early. Also, you get a natural process of, you know, uh, fasting in there so which is really really important and also helps your gut to heal at the same time give it a little rest so also you could put you know brown rice with kiwi little nuts on that really good also you know kale and uh, beans would be a good combination whole whole grains in general you know grapes on your your breakfast and fruit in general so now we know that fruit actually totally prevents Alzheimer's and dementia and studies show that now so it's really important fruit 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 uh, fruit and also berries berries are right in there also the same thing so I highly recommend them and greens and beans there's no doubt about it some of the best things you can eat and so also beans are one of my favorite things I eat anywhere from uh, 15 to 30 ounces of beans every day uh, if you're eating like I am on a whole foods plant-based diet beans are one of your best friends highly recommend black beans black beans also get rid of inflammation in your body so and the, you know in the food pyramid in brazil they have a separate section just for black beans because it's so healing and, and it really helps people with gout also black beans do and also things like fava beans help to increase serotonin in your brain and dopamine so it's really important to allow yourself to take uh, you know, wonderful beans every day. I highly recommend beans and lentils also are in the same class. Peas also are in that same class, like split pea soup and that type of thing. So allow yourself to partake of beans and get some of these combinations of food in and stop eating early and you will sleep deeply without any side effects whatsoever because, you know, taking things over the counter or, you know, prescribed by your doctor can you know, cause problems. But if you do have long-term sleep problems, I recommend you go and check with your doctor, you know, and find out what, what what's going on. Maybe there's something else happening. So have a wonderful day. Remember a couple things. Remember God and remember, I love you.